The one thing I did want to mention about my personal experiment or experience, which I didn't get to in the first one because it got cut off. And so that kind of went funny, um, is how long is my wave? So that's a question that comes up often. And, you know, how long is a wave or how long does a wave last? And I am in a very funky place to answer that because I have two waves. I have no idea what, how long either of them are. So therefore, I mean, I, I genuinely cannot answer that question. <laughs> However, what I can say is I have done some tests and um, this may end up being a worth, worthwhile test if you're newer to human design and newer to your authority is if you can find a decision where you have zero uh, time frame to make it in. Um, and what I mean by that is you, you don't have any deadlines. Um, you, it's an, like it's an open-ended decision. It, that is a great place to experiment with your authority and, and something that has a stake in it. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you why I say that. So when I was very early in discovering my human design and I learned I had to, excuse me, wait for clarity on decisions. I thought, well, actually that probably makes a lot of sense to me because I uh, used to pro and con, used to use my head, la, 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 la. I mean, just never felt certain, right? I was kind of, always felt like I was um, just winging it. And so I had a fairly large decision to, to, to make, or at least I had given myself in my previous business before um, I uh, started the human down the human design path uh, and being trained in human design. And so I was working this business and I could either stay where I was. So I was a mortgage broker and that was a series of bad decisions that led me there in the first place. I had some very lovely uh, mentors and people, but it just was not correct for me. So I had amazing people around me. I had every reason to be successful and I really wasn't. I was beating my head up against a wall. And so in this particular case, I had given myself this situation. I kind of recognized some places where I was you know, falling down. And I said, okay, well, I can either stay with my current mentor in my brokerage and just use her more and use her differently instead of just trying to figure out stuff for myself. Or I can go to this other brokerage and they have some resources that are available to me. It's not everything I kind of wanted, but you know, it could probably help uh, with some of the, the tricky spots that I was running into. But I hadn't I'm, I never said anything to my original mentor and I, I interviewed with this other group and I dialed into them and I talked to them. And so of course, you know, their guy was calling me like every week, you know, checking in, but I said, look, I, I just want to give myself all the time in the world to get the clarity I need to make this decision. I said, I, I want to make what feels like the right decision. And I, I don't have that clarity yet, but I, as soon as I do, I will let you know. And so this was kind of like an open-ended opportunity. And that was actually the perfect opportunity for me to test how long this freaking wave stuff is, because I had no idea. So for me, long story short, three and a half weeks went by. So in my mind, my decisions were stay where I was and just, you know, take advantage of my mentor better than I was, right? Leverage my mentor more or go to this new place with a new opportunity. Uh, and back and forth, back and forth, wasn't sure, wasn't sure, wasn't sure, but didn't give myself the pressure, actually removed a lot of my workload too, just to kind of give myself space. That was really important. It was just give myself space and permission to just be. Three and a half weeks later, and that's kind of what I noticed for some of the bigger things. Three and a half weeks seems to be an interesting timeline for me. But three and a half weeks later, the way I can describe the clarity I got from like in a moment was sort of the suddenly I see and I can no longer unsee. So suddenly I saw truth and clarity and it was like, I couldn't stuff that back in the box anymore. That was the feeling it was. It was like, oh my gosh, you know, the blinders were off. 
And now I, and it wasn't just, it wasn't like in my head, it was like my body. Right. And it was just such a truth that I was like, oh, geez. And here was the amazing thing about that clarity. If I had tried to push or rush, rush that decision, it would have been A, you know, stay with my mentor, B, go to this new brokerage. But in truth, by giving myself the space for clarity, the decision was neither. The decision was actually C, get the hell out of Dodge and leave this industry and leave this business behind. And it wasn't even a decision I had been contemplating, even though the moment I saw it, the moment it showed up, I was like, oh my gosh, this is my truth. This is so true. I can feel it down to my cells and I, I can't, I just, I can't continue down this path anymore. Like I, I can't, I can't. So within two weeks, I, like I just, I got all my stuff, my things wrapped up, passed off my files to my active files to my broker and wrote a resignation letter and, you know, and that was it. I was done. I was done with the business. And that is my share to you in the value of waiting for clarity and what it can give you. Yeah. Lindsay. Wow. Yeah. And I was so blessed to have had that opportunity very early in my experiment because like, holy shit balls that landed so powerfully with me that I was like, sure. It would be nice. Like if I could get a decision faster, but I was like, I am not trading that clarity in for anything. And I know sometimes they say, oh, your clarity isn't always hundred percent. Well, I can tell you darn tootin' that clarity was a hundred percent in that moment. Uh, is it always a hundred percent? Maybe not necessarily, but it, it, it definitely was very powerful and very real and very true. And to this day, I mean, to this day, that decision was bang on. So I hope that really helps anchor in um, the experience of, you know, waiting for clarity and how that feels. And remember, I mean, I, I want to delve this back to, it's really for the bigger decisions. Um, the other thing I wanted to also mention, being a, gen, a, being a generator type, right? Having the sacral and, um, and the emotional authority, but also being a man gen, wanting to move fast, 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 quick, 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 like funny, right? I can tell you that I am okay now with waiting for clarity. And here's how I found that piece. I'm already implementing stuff that I've decided on and I've already emoed. Like I'm busy. I'm busy doing stuff. I am not idle doing things. I mean, I rest when I need to rest. I needed some regen time this past year because like there was a lot of stuff added to my plate outside of business. Um, but I don't need a ton more things to like get clarity on. Right? Like I just, I don't want a lot of yeses right now, if that makes any sense. I, I really want the yeses to be high quality. So I am okay with letting things percolate and decide because I already have commitments that I've made to earlier yeses that I'm still implementing. So this is why I'm going back to the time, the energy, the money, right? The location, the relationship, those big decisions. That's where clarity is super, super valuable. And here's another thing to keep in mind. Just because other authorities don't have weight for clarity as their theme doesn't mean they always get an answer immediately. Let me explain. Um, sacral may not always have the information this, the, and, and what to respond to correctly in the moment. It just may not have it. You know, yes is a possibility and no is a possibility for sacral responses, but I don't know, or not now, or eh, flatline is also a possible sacral response. And that is really like, I, I just, I, there's no decision at this point. Um, you know, spleen, your intuition may not pipe up in the moment. It might also pipe up randomly at other times with things, but it may not always pipe up. Uh, the uh, will center, uh, you know, you want to check in and make sure you have that sense of like, you've got the energy and you've got the resources and you've got the will to say yes to something. Um, you know, think about, let's say, uh, self-projected, uh, which is identity center or 
mental projected, right? Ajna. You ideally want sounding boards, right? To talk, talk it out, to see how you feel, see how the words resonate, right? Even ego authority would want an opportunity for sounding board. Like, does this feel like I want to do this, right? And then lunar authority is 28 days, right? So, I mean, that is reflectors. So you want to give that uh, time to percolate. And sometimes it might take more than one cycle. 